right side, please. When a state deputy pulls someone over for a minor road violation, they never know how the situation might progress. Sometimes, it's a small fine for speeding or letting the driver go with a warning. Other times, it escalates to an outrageous level. This time, it got so bad that you could say it was a scene from an implausible action movie. Howdy! You mind putting back the back down the back window, please, for me? All right, awesome. I'm Deputy Blazer with Seminole County Sheriff's Office. In 2019, a Florida trooper pulled over a car for having tinted windows. Before I ask you any, for any um, information, the reason I'm pulling you over is because your windows appear way too dark per oh, statute. Exactly okay, so if I could do, if you could do me a favor, just roll this window about halfway up. That would be. That's good. In Florida, there are certain laws about how dark a car window can be, and this deputy wanted to check if this man's car adhered to the local laws. He also explained to the driver what he was doing and why in a friendly manner. So in the state of Florida, the front window can be 25%, back window can be 15%, okay? The lower the number, the darker the tent. Your, your front window is measuring at 3%, okay? The man seemed genuinely surprised by this law and willing to cooperate anyway. He could to replace the windows. I thought it went by the uh, back window, I thought. Oh, no, no, so, so as you can see, yeah. three. What that means is only 3% of the outside ambient light is getting through your window. Okay, that's why that's why they do that that way. Uh, um, do you have your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance? You can put this back down for me. How's it going this morning? What's that? How's it going this morning, bro? Living the dream. The deputy stared at the man's ID for a while, mesmerized by his name. Rocky Money yes, sir. Rudolph <laughs> Jr. Yes, sir. That name is awesome. <laughs> That's probably in 14 years, that is probably the best name I've seen. <laughs> but things were about to take a not so friendly turn from here on out. This this is the application for a certificate of title. Uh, yeah. This, this is not too much. Like this is the registration right here. Okay. It's saying it's, uh, I guess your your birthday's probably on the 5th. Is yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. So, so ultimately it, it's technically expired, yeah. but we don't cite for that. There's case law that says it goes to the end of the month. Yeah. So you need to get that changed. Yeah, I will. Right? I'm doing this new project down here on um, the homeless community thing they're doing. Okay. I'm building that there, working down there, building on that and stuff. Okay. So I've been through the area all the time. All right. The man went on about his busy life and why he didn't get to take care of his car lately. Do you have a Do you have an app or anything? Uh, you should be able to get it on, on an app if you've got the you sign into the app. Yeah. I just got to check and make sure make sure it's good. But the more things the deputy asked of Rocky, the more nervous he got. And the deputy noticed this. Why are you nervous? Oh, I don't know. She's <laughs> Huh? No, you know reason? I think I got bad nerve. I ain't got no reason to be nervous. So. Just my nerve. What's that? Just some got bad nerves. So. Okay. There's no need to be nervous, man. Yeah, man. I was wondering, you know, I was like, what the hell? I did, I did. I thought, I thought it was the light or something. I'm looking like, no, you're in the no. light. Ten. Yeah. It's pet peeve of mine. I was just, oh, okay. I just trying to see where you were going because it's, it's seriously unsafe to be pulling cars over over there, man. So I don't oh, ever do it. Oh, that's what I was wondering. Like, I try and get, in, I try and follow somebody until <laughs> they get in a safe area. <laughs> oh, okay. For okay. me. Okay. You know, yeah. and then I, and then I attempt to stop. But the man was looking for something on his phone and mumbling as he couldn't find it. Yeah, we don't need uh, Facebook. Infinity Auto Insurance. Unless you want to Facebook Live us, it'd be like, hey. Who am with my email? Why do you start? I think it could have made me email. By now, the deputy could see that Rocky was stalling, but he couldn't tell why. Perhaps he was trying to get out of an impossible situation. He did not have a valid license, and he had to be fined for it. Or perhaps he was hiding something even darker. The deputy taunted him to see how he would react. It's also going to be about time for you to get a new license. Yeah, I know I get all that stuff straight now. I've been so busy, man. Right? No, I, 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 I feel you. I feel you. Y'all, y'all working today? Ah, no. I, oh, okay. Well, unfortunately, today being your day off, everything else is closed too. <laughs>
Finally, Rocky showed the deputy something on his phone, which had a seriously cracked screen. The deputy seemed pleased with whatever Rocky showed him, but now he had another question on his mind. Watch Rocky's face change as he hears the deputy's question. Awesome. All right. Mr. Rudolph. Yes, sir. Is there any reason why there would be a hint faint of, of coming out of your vehicle? Do you smoke? Do you have any friends that smoke? Anything like that? No, sir. Just okay. black and mild. Probably black and mild smoke. Mm -hmm. black and mild. No, I, I know the difference between black and mild smoke and this and that. Do you do you have any um, in the car? Yes, sir. Okay. So there's no in the car at all? Okay. And do you have a Florida health card that allows you to smoke medical? No, sir. No? Okay. All right. Can you, can you do me a favor and just shut the car off for me? What happens, sir? Huh? Well, I smell, I smell, and you don't have a, you don't have a card, so I'm not. I, listen, listen, listen. I'm not, I'm not concerned with some personal use stuff, man. It doesn't even warrant my time. Although the deputy said he wasn't interested in personal use. He did want Rocky to turn off his car, and he clearly wasn't too happy about that. Perhaps he had more narcotics than he was letting on in the car, or perhaps there was something else that he didn't want to be found during a vehicle search. Would you mind shutting the car off, please? Huh? I, I understand. Just shut the car off for me, please. Okay? Alright. 2513, someone. Step him up, please. Seeing the stress build on Rocky's face, the deputy felt the need to explain himself, but he wasn't expecting things to escalate this way. It's it's no big deal. I mean, I'm bro, not. You like me from old hey, 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 hey. To a marijuana, listen, bro. Listen, on, listen. Man. listen. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you right now. Stop! 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 Put it in park. Put it in park. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your freaking hands up. Let me know he's just trying to take him. off with me. Step him up now. Sir, I'm me. telling you. Put your, hands up. Put, your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. I swear to God. Put your hands up. You put it in park. That's when Rocky made a move in an attempt to steal the deputy's firearm. What followed was simply outrageous. Sir. Sir. Rocky drove off with the deputy hanging onto his SUV. The deputy had to aim and fire to stop the car. The sheriff later said, Rudolph reaches toward the gun hand of Deputy Blay and actually holds him there and drives at least 100 yards heading toward I-4 before Deputy Blay falls off the car and into the median. Deputy Blay was transported to a hospital with minor injuries. After he fell from the car, Rocky Rudolph drove on, then abandoned his SUV when he saw law enforcement cars on his tail. After a long chase on foot, he was arrested. The officers discovered more than 30 felonies on his record, mostly narcotics related. This time, he was charged with high-speed fleeing and possession of Inside his SUV, authorities also found a stolen handgun. So, yep, that's why he was nervous and tried avoiding a car search at all costs. 